Okay guys, hey, we're here today, shoulder training here in the 609 Muscle at the gym, San Diego. I'm here with my man, Mark Robinson, AKA Mac Muscle Fit. Follow him on IG, this guy's an incredible athlete. We're getting him ready for the stage this year. And of course, Antoine underscore Rarkus. He's a longtime warrior here in the iron jungle of San Diego. And uh, we're getting him ready for high level crazy stuff coming up 14, 16 weeks and then on into the national level. Mark the same. We're getting ready for shoulder training. So join us. We're going to put some cap, some roundness, some three dimensionality onto these guys' physique. Because as you know, it's all about the shape, all about the taper. So we're going to work a lot on side delts, bringing out that width to maximize shoulder width down to a tiny waist. It's gonna be fun. We've done it before, we're gonna do some new stuff today. I hope you enjoy this one. And uh, follow us, 609 Muscle TV. Here we go. All right guys, we're gonna start with dumbbells. We're gonna do a giant set. It's gonna include four different movements as we build up into it. We wanna focus on bringing blood to all the heads of the deltoids. Delts have anterior, posterior, and medial delt heads. All of them will work together. It's hard to separate any of them completely, but what we're gonna do is target each of them separately. Volume and angles. That's a way to build three-dimensionality, to build width and to build thickness. So when we put the torso at a slight angle, what you end up doing is you're forcing the muscle to work directly against the vertical push of gravity straight down when you're using free weights. That's one of the advantages to using free weights as opposed to machines is you're using the vertical angle of gravity, which you always depend on. It comes straight down. That's what gives the pull to the muscle. When you change the angle of the torso in relation to gravity, you're changing the stress on the muscle. So what we're doing now is we're actually gonna do just three exercises, three motions first. We're gonna do our side lateral raise with a, a slight leaning forward. Then we're gonna reach out to the front. That's gonna stimulate anterior delt, but we're gonna put a little bit of a subtle twist to it. When you twist the humerus, you're actually stimulating the medial delt also. So this is gonna be two motions for medial delt stimulation. Then we're gonna flip, we're gonna face the mirror. When you're going thumbs up to the front, that's anterior delt stimulation. We're gonna follow the lay of the muscle because that muscle comes from up in the clavicle and comes down into the humerus. That's gonna put a little bit more dramatic stimulation just to that anterior delt. Now these guys have been working with me for a long time, so they know a lot of the exercises. I don't have to explain directly to them, but what I start doing is just gently correcting the form so that we can keep the tension specifically on the different angles of the deltoid. It's really cool to watch a muscle from the beginning of the workout to the end of the workout, how the body fills with blood and really starts changing. As we talked about with this angle, we're getting posterior delt stimulation. We're also getting medial delt stimulation. That's perfect. Excellent job. Yep, thumb up a little bit more as you come up and then twist at the end. Good, good, good. Excellent. Awesome. Yep, now we'll face the mirror. Now we're gonna come up, slight angle in, thumb slightly inward. Follow the lay of that anterior delt, of your front delt. Perfect, you see the angle of the muscle, you wanna follow that path. Perfect, nice. Good, nice. Now, Antoine's been working with me for a long time. We put on a lot of size in the past year. Yes. Good. Anterior delt. Squeeze. Very good. Yep. Good, good, good. Volume and angle. Woo. That's it. Good. There we go. There we go. Awesome. Good. You know, with weight selection in terms of resistance, sometimes you end up going heavier sometimes you end up going lighter. What I like to do is like try to keep the guys so that they're communicating to what we call the, the maximum hypertroph hypertrophic or anabolic uh, rep range, which is somewhere between six and 15 typically. Smaller muscles will end up wanting to hit a little bit in the higher rep range. The more different angles within one workout that you can stimulate maximum hypertrophy, the greater the body's gonna change. So you're increasing productivity with every workout Every workout, you're making changes. You should see change in growth. Again, if your food is on point two. See, in this one, we want to watch that motion of the humerus, which goes to the weight. It's coming right along the path of the muscle lay from the collarbone to that side of the arm right there. Boom. You guys, keep in mind while you're watching the videos of these guys training. These guys are top-level athletes now at the amateur level. Um, they got a lot of seasoning and a lot of uh, experience. 
Watch the quality of the repetition. Watch the way they're doing it. Even though some of the form has some momentum in it, watch the peak contraction at the top. What they're doing is squeezing because it really is all about stimulating the muscle with the mind. You want to connect that better. muscle that's it. You get better. to the mind because that's what's turning on and activating. So even though the weights might be a little light or the form might be a little bit loose, they're squeezing the top. That's the most important part, feeling that contraction, not just flinging weights around. What we're going to do on these is now we're going to move on into our heavier motion. We're still maintaining usage of the free weights, not always, but today we're going to we're going to do Arnold press, but we're going to do a modified Arnold press. It puts a twist, so you're getting all three heads of the delt stimulated. Awesome, but we're not doing it across the front. The traditional, typical, official Arnold press brings the elbows in front too, which puts a lot of stress on all the delt heads. But I want to get a little bit heavier today, so we're going to let it be a little bit more loose, a little bit more liberal form. Modified Arnold press, excellent job. Straight up, good. When you come up, spin those dumbbells a little bit at the top, that's it. Gives you a little bit more momentum and power, squeeze. When you get that twist, also pulls that side delt in. All right, now we're gonna superset to target medial delt. Go, awesome, go, awesome. Go again, boom, yep, that's it. Nice job, side lateral raise. Excellent. Go five. Yep. Go. Come on. Come on, champ. Come on, champ. Come on, champ. Peak contraction. You know, one of the things too about stretching, it's really interesting. When you stretch, you're opposing the contraction movement. So what you're actually doing is you're solidifying the brain connection. It's called proprioception. It's attaching the brain to the muscle neurologically. But when you stretch and reverse the contraction, you're also getting a little bit more mind-muscle connection and more aware of the feel of the muscle. That's super important when you're training because connection to the brain is everything. Awesome. Yep. All right, guys, now as you've seen, what we've done is we did the three position to hit all of the three heads of the delts with our torso at different angles on the incline bench. Then we moved on into our heavy pressing, and the pressing then we ended up supersetting with strict side laterals, higher volume. We did those for 20 reps after we did a heavy pressing of like eight to 10 reps with a heavy dumbbell press, modified Arnold. Now we're gonna move on to our third exercise. The third exercise is a simple side lateral raise. But what I wanna do is get a little bit deeper into the muscle. Now that they have fatigue, we're gonna allow these guys to cheat a little bit. We're gonna hit a drop set on heavy side lateral races, just plain strict side lateral races. As we had talked about in the beginning, it's all the focus on medial delt. We get a little loose, it's gonna bring in more muscle fibers, but we're still hitting ultimate failure, and we're going beyond failure with our drop set. Three sets, 10 to 15 repetitions, but keeping it really heavy, a little loose form, focusing on a peak contraction. Hungry, Antoine, hungry. Yes, talk to it, talk to it, talk to it. Oh, squeeze hard, squeeze hard. That's good. Three, four, five, five, ten. There we go. Awesome. Yes, sir. Yes. Get it. Get it. And five. There you go. Awesome. Yep. Get him. Four, three, two, one. There you go. What we always want to do, and you'll never see a guy in 619 muscle, our team, that doesn't have good rear delts. There we go, let's focus strictly on rears now. So what we did for this one, a little bit of a variation, drop the bench down almost to flat, it's about a 30 degree angle. And we're gonna come out to the side, like a side lateral raise, but for a side lateral raise, that's opposing gravity. So gravity coming straight down, the side lateral raise with an almost horizontal bench is putting a lot of detail into that posterior delta wave. Yes sir, get 10 of these, there you go. One of the things about rear delts, it's hard to pull the traps out of it. A lot of athletes are super strong in the traps, like Mac, for example. So we're going to bring these delts up right here as we go through this contest season. Now, in order to remove some of the trap activation through this motion, what you want to do is make sure the guys keep their arms wide and then not coming up super high, because coming up only to horizontal is going to bring a lot of that function right there. So as long as you keep the weight relatively low, beginning the stimulation, beginning the utilization of the muscle from the start point, you're gonna stimulate a lot more of the rear delts. These guys are smoked already. We had a great workout, so the expectation is... Smoke like a baby back <laughs> Yeah, back flat. There you go. A little bit out towards me. There we go. Yep. That's the way. Pull those rear delts in. Look at those rear delts popping. One more. Yep. There we go. Awesome. 
<laughs> Last one. Just gonna add just all that dramatic width right in here. Yep, don't have to come high, you just have to stimulate the muscle. One of the things to keep in mind, because we did super setting and giant setting on all of these, with the smaller muscles, smaller muscle groups, they have a lot of functional angles. So it's a lot about bringing volume and capitalizing on stimulating the muscle through all of the angles. So by bringing in multiple volumes and angles, you get a lot of stimulation that makes a more complete look. So that's why we start having fun with the guys that are competing in physique first. We don't focus necessarily on just sheer size, but it's the dramatic look of detail throughout all the different angles. Because when the judges are viewing your physique, they don't just view it from one plane. It's a, you know, a total package, and that's what we try to focus on developing the, a complete look to the physique, even from early in the career of these athletes. All right, guys, there you have, look at the look. Crazy pump. The befores and afters are always crazy. Every time you train, you should be looking better by the end of your workout. Of course, that's a pump. But every workout you do, week by week, your body should be changing and progressing. These guys did phenomenal. Keep an eye out. Mac Muscle Fit, Antoine underscore Rarkus. Uh, they're going to be getting ready for shows up and coming in the Muscle Contest NPC scene here in Southern California. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We're going to have a lot more coming. Uh, we did shoulders today. We did back last time. Yeah. But we got a lot more fun stuff coming as these guys get ready for the contest season. Stay tuned. This is Online Muscle TV. We'll see you soon.